Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. So, in this whole video, I will teach you the derivation of the, the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And in the last part of our video, I will show you examples on how to use the relationship between the sides of 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am teacher going. Let's do this topic. So basically guys, uh, you have here, or to derive the special right triangle which is 30, 60, 90. So let me show you first the 30, 60, 90. So this is your 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. Ito yung structure niya. Okay. So this is your... 90 degree angle while this is your 30 degree angle and the other is your 60 degree angle so we can say that if this is your 90 degree angle the side opposite to this angle is your hypotenuse okay and comparing the other sides if this is 30 degree angle and this is your 90 degree angle therefore the side opposite to your 30 degree angle is your shorter leg. Shorter leg. And this 60 degree, degree angle, the opposite side of this angle is your longer leg. Okay? So... So what is the reason why do you need to label those sides as hypotenuse, shorter leg, and longer leg? So it is important for it is important for us to acknowledge the that kind of legs or the sides of the right triangle for us to overcome this kind of topic. Later on, you will realize the importance of it. So let's move on with this derivation. To derive this 30-60-90 special right triangle, we will be using an equilateral triangle. When you say equilateral triangle, this is a triangle with equal sides, with three equal sides. And to derive this triangle, I would say that let's start with the sides of two, two, and two. So the sides of this equilateral triangle are all equal to two. And to start deriving it, we will draw an altitude from this vertex going down here and since this one is an altitude this one is a 90 degree angle and also this is a 90 degree angle and aside from that guys it is an angle bisector so sir uh, what do you mean by angle bisector it will bisect the given angle into two equal angles. So we know that this one is an equilateral triangle and also if this triangle is equilateral, therefore this is also equiangular, meaning all the angles are congruent. This is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, and this angle is also 60 degrees, right? Because if we divide 180 by three, it will give us 60 degree each for these angles and this is this one is an angle bisector meaning this angle measures 30 degrees and the other angle is also 30 degrees okay so now we are near to finalize the derivation of our 30 60 90 special right triangle but i will dissect one right triangle from this figure and let's have this figure. So let me raise that. Remember, eh? I will dissect this right triangle. So this is your right angle, and this is your 60 degree angle, and this one is 30 degree angle. So given this, so as you can see, this side is two units and if we focus on this right triangle that will be your 
hypotenuse. So this is two units. Okay? Sure, how about the other sides? And as you can see, since this angle, uh, this altitude bisected this angle, therefore the opposite sides are congruent. Again, this side and this side are all congruent. So if this is 2, the length of this is 1, and this is also equal to 1. Therefore, this side measures 1 unit. So as you can see, we have here a right triangle with a measurement of 1 and 2 as your hypotenuse. And we can find this side using the Pythagorean theorem. We have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. We're in your hypotenuse C is your 2. So we're going to have 2. And then your A is equal to 1. So you have 1 squared plus B squared. We will try to find the, side, the length of this side. So that is 4 is equal to 1 plus B squared. Transpose 1 to the other side of the equation. You can have 4 minus 1 is equal to B squared. And that is 3 is equal to B squared. And simplifying this, your b is equivalent to the square root of b. And this is the length of this side. We have the square root of 3. Okay? Now, going back with our 30-60-90 special right triangle, ito na mismo yung length ng bawat sides niya. So if this is 1, 2, and square root of 3, we can represent those measurements para mahanap natin yung mga missing sides later. So if this is 1, we can represent that as x. And for the longer side, you can represent that as x square root of 3. And for your hypotenuse, you can represent that as 2x. Therefore, the ratio of the sides of a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle is x starting from your shorter leg is to x square root of 3 as your longer leg times is to 2x for your hypotenuse. So stay tuned because in the next part of our video, I will give examples for in we will calculate for the missing side of a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. Now in this part of the video, I will teach you how to find the missing side of this given right triangles. So given this, you know, this illustration, we have there our 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. As you can see, the side opposite to your 30 degree angle is your shorter leg, which is represented by X. And the side opposite to your 60 degree angle is your longer leg, which is represented by x times the square root of 3. And lastly, for your hypotenuse, this one, this side, is represented by your 2x. So, here in, your, in, here in our examples, we have here, find the length of the missing sides of each triangle. So, all these right triangles, we only have one given side. And using the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle uh, relationship, we can find the missing sides. So let's start with item number one. For item number one, um, this is my advice. First, you need to identify which one is given. Is it the longer leg, shorter leg, or the hypotenuse? In this case, since this is 60 degrees, and this is your 90, therefore, this is your 30 degree angle. And this side is your shorter leg. So. What will I do to find the value of x? Your x is your longer leg, ha? Huh? Your x, this x or this side, is your longer leg. To find the value of x, we need to simply copy your shorter leg and then multiply it by the square root of t. We're in, again, if the given side is your shorter leg, to find the longer leg, simply multiply it by the square root of 3 and your x is simply 8 square root of 3. That's it for this given example. Okay? So for item number, for the next item, 
we have the variable y. Your variable y is opposite to your 90, meaning that is your hypotenuse. Okay? So, what you will do here is that, as you can see, the representation is 2x. So, your x is the length of your shorter leg. So, all you need to do is to multiply your shorter leg. Again, eh, multiply your shorter leg, which is 8, by 2. Because that is 2x. Shorter leg times 2. And your y is equal to 16. So, we can have here, your x here is equal to 8 square root of 3, while your hypotenuse measures 16 units. Okay? In other words, your hypotenuse is twice as your shorter leg. So let's move on with item number two. For item number two, um, this one, we need to identify which one is it. Is it the longer leg or the shorter leg? This is 30, therefore this is 60, and opposite to this is your given sign, meaning this is your longer leg. So as you can see, your longer leg is x times the square root of 3. And my advice here, if this is the situation, first before um, the sequence is like this one, find first the shorter leg. Again, find first the shorter leg. So the shorter leg is your x. To find your shorter leg, copy your longer leg, which is 12, and then divide it by the square root of 3. Okay? Divide it by the square root of 3 and rationalize this times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 and then you can have x is equal to 12 square root of 3 over 3 because square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9 and simplifying that radical it will give you 3 and then as you can see you can still simplify this fraction you have 12 divided by 3 so you can still have x is equal to 4 times the square root of 3. This is your shorter leg. You have here 4 square root of 3. Okay? Now, sir, how about the y variable or your hypotenuse? This is your hypotenuse. Sabi sa inyo, simply multiply your shorter leg 4 square root of 3 by 2. And your hypotenuse is simply 8 square root of 3. That's it. For problem number 2. 8 square root of 3. So again, if the given side is your longer leg, find first your shorter leg and then eventually your hypotenuse. Let's move on with item number 3. In item number 3, we're given here. The given side here is your hypotenuse, which is equal to 6. So, um, my advice here, sorry, this is your x, this is your y. My advice here is to find first the shorter leg. Because as you can see, uh, this one is much better than the longer leg. So, for, to find your x, simply get your hypotenuse, which is 6, and then divide it by 2. Again, get the hypotenuse, the length of your hypotenuse, and then divide it by 2. And your x is equal to 3. This is the length of your shorter leg. And to finally get, or to finally find the measurement of your longer leg, which is represented by the variable y, simply multiply your shorter leg 3 by the square root of 3. And there you have it. The value of your longer leg is none other than 3 square root of 3. That's it for the longer leg, 3 square root of 3. So if, we, if you have any question about this topic or, or about our solution, you can simply comment down below. And if you have a request or a topic request that you want me to discuss within this channel, you can comment down below at the comment section. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at the hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye.